So, hello, it's me again. I haven't vlogged in a while. Again. Um, I haven't been doing much interesting. I know I say that every time. Every time I do a vlog, I'm just not doing anything interesting. So, today I'm going to eat some noodles. Yeah, that doesn't sound very interesting. But, um, it's the last packet and I just wanted to talk about it really. So, here's a bit of noodles right so i'm having noodles now um minced pork flavor instant noodles hate doing everything one-handed they're from thailand and they taste much much better than the ones you can buy here so i'm just making them at the moment unfortunately i've run out and when i went I went there a few years ago, I picked up a free noodle bowl, so I'm going to have them in my noodle bowl. Right, here's a tip for you, um, something that I do is crush the noodles while they're still in the packet, and then they're a lot smaller and crushed up. Um, I actually use a fork for mine, and sometimes I can't actually hook them up with the fork, but it's good to crush them, make them smaller, and it fits into the bowl easier. You know, I hope I can... I hope my voice is being heard over the sound of this kettle going. But anyway, these noodle bits are really tasty. They actually taste of hula hoops. Yeah, hula hoops. Because the really cheapy ones just taste of cardboard, and these taste of hula hoops, and they're really nice. Mm. And then it comes with some sort of fat that you have to put on it. And then this, this is actually really spicy. I'm not sure what it is exactly. But I'm going to put it in and probably burn myself again. There we go, kettle's boiled. Right, another tip for noodles is there's only a certain amount of flavour in the packet. So when you put it in, the flavoring in the packet is spread out across all of the water so the less water you put in the more flavor there is going to be per square inch i think that's the right no probably not but the less water you have the more intense the flavor so to get a really good flavor put in less water which i've done here rather than filling it right to the top where you have more water and it doesn't actually taste as good. Um, another good tip for making noodles is when you come to put this uh, powdery stuff in, you usually open it and then tip it like that. That's usually not a good idea because the heat is coming up and that's water vapour and it gets inside this packet and it will stick, sometimes it sticks the sticks the granules to the inside of the packet and then you can't get them out because they're all wet. So that's just another handy tip for making noodles. So my last tip for making noodles is just to enjoy them really. Um, yes, I'm eating them on my desk upstairs, unfortunately. You should really eat um, somewhere that's made for eating food, like the dining room or the kitchen. But I'm actually just up here to watch some more Stargate Atlantis on my laptop. So hopefully you got some tips about noodles from that. Um, I also forgot to mention it's great to bring along, what's it called? Bread. Yeah. So you can sort of wipe out the, the stuff that's left over. So anyway, next week, hopefully I want to plan to go to different places. So I'll be taking my camera and vlogging, hopefully. So... I just need to find out some interesting places to go, so if anyone knows somewhere that I should go, just tell me. So, until then, goodbye.